I'm Corey Zinn, Executive Director of Create West Virginia, filling in for Tom Hunter. It seems like every year there's a proposal related to guns before West Virginia lawmakers. This year they're considering a bill that would allow firearms to be carried on college campuses. The measure would prohibit colleges or their regulating bodies from creating or enforcing rules that prohibit guns on campus. The state's two largest schools, West Virginia University and Marshall University, both oppose the idea. Kira Biscarner reports in Marshall's student newspaper, The Parthenon, that President Jerome Gilbert and student body president Matt Jarvis both told delegates they opposed the proposal. Gilbert says guns on campus will decrease the level of safety and put more people at risk due to accidental or purposeful injury due to firearm use. Jarvis says if the law passes, the resulting fear and anxiety would be detrimental to the overall well-being of Marshall students. The Daily Athenaeum WVU's student newspaper wrote an editorial opposing the concept. They noted comments made by Rob Alsop, WVU's Vice President of Strategic Initiatives. Alsop testified at a legislative hearing and says putting additional weapons on campus doesn't make it safer. Instead, he says it makes it easier to escalate a situation. The DA editorial also notes that drugs and alcohol have a presence in the area, and adding guns to that mix is not a good idea. And you know, Corey, the proposal which passed the House Education Committee comes from Delegate Jim Butler of Mason County. He says the change would let potential campus shooters know students might be armed. That, Butler says, could deter someone from trying to attack on a campus. There, there would be some exemptions for places that weapons would be allowed. Colleges could regulate guns in stadiums and arenas that have a capacity for 5,000 or more spectators. That would include the basketball and football venues at both Marshall and WVU. It would not, however, keep people from carrying guns at tailgate parties on campus, WVU's Chief of Police notes. More discussion will take place on this in the House of Delegates. If the House approves, then it would be up to the State Senate whether to follow suit.